Virtual team meetings are a waste of time, is a common complaint I hear from remote team members. Hi, I'm Corinne Jones from OD Consulting. Have you ever wondered what your team members are doing during teleconferences? Some recent research indicated that people get up to all sorts of things during a teleconference, such as surfing the net, checking social media, doing other work, and even using the bathroom. So if all this is happening, how productive are your meetings? As team leader, have you often felt as though you're speaking to a vacuum? Odds are that you are, unless you're managing your virtual team meetings well and ensuring engagement of your team members. Another common bugbear of virtual team meetings is that it's all one-way communication without involvement by team members. How much input do your team members have during your virtual meetings? It's important to put in place strategies to increase their involvement. Do your team members even log on for the virtual meeting? In a recent team development workshop I facilitated for a virtual team, the most remote team members mentioned that they don't even join the teleconferences and video conferences as they don't feel they're relevant to them. They also mentioned that they don't feel comfortable when co-located team members have side conversations and in-jokes during video conferences. So it's no wonder that those same team members also mention that they feel isolated from what's happening in the rest of the team. When team members are dispersed, different time zones can also make it very difficult to connect. Even across a large continent such as Australia, particularly during summer when some states observe daylight savings, coordination can be difficult. Communication for a team spread across the globe becomes far more challenging, particularly if there are members in North or South America and Europe as well as Asia and Australia. Bringing the team together means that there will always be team members who have to hook up to teleconferences and video conferences in the middle of the night or early hours of the morning. Some teams attempt to find the mutually least disruptive time and change the meeting times, so the same people aren't always inconvenienced. But there's no one convenient time for everybody really. So if you'd like to know more about how to make your virtual team meetings more productive, sign up for my free webinar, The Seven Warning Signs Your Virtual Team is Doomed to Fail at www.odconsulting.com com.au forward slash webinars. Thanks for listening.